On the road, yep, yeah, back again. Let me quickly get out of the way of this lorry because it's final destination waiting to happen. Thank you very much, let's crack on. We currently find ourselves in the sixth tier of the English football ladder. And last time around, I chose the south with Braintree, didn't I, as they took on Slough. You can check out the video here on the channel. Oh. No! And unfortunately, the result didn't go our way, which means we're still in the sixth tier of the English football ladder. But this time, we're opting for the North. With a team that's fallen on hard times, but aiming to get back up the pyramid. A team that's actually spent three seasons in the championship. But most importantly, Smith likes their badge. That's me, talking in third person. You've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail. It's name, Scumfort United. They were founded in 1889. That's proper old. As mentioned, they currently find themselves in the National League North. Second, to be exact, as their opponents, Banbury United, have a relegation battle on their hands. Today's venue is Glanford Park, which has a total capacity of just over 9,000. 9,088, to be exact. So like most journeys, is we have to get on the big bad boy M25. And as soon as we're on it, we're pretty much off it because we're heading north for the M11. Then it's the A1, not to be mistaken with that British slash Norwegian boy band from the 90s. Talking to boy bands, I'm currently listening to Westlife's greatest hits. We'll be in scum in no time, trust me. Proof that we're travelling more north because there's more clouds, more smoke and all. Someone's beam is caught alight, lovely. <coughs> I've genuinely got a cough on right now, but that was perfect timing. Not long after I've just seen our first sign for Scumfall, I feel like Doncaster Services does need an improvement, although Greg's is a good one. We eventually get to a roundabout, which takes us to a hell of a lot of shops, but in the background there, you can see there's some floodlights. That's got to be the gaff. Now, I was told when I get to Scumfall, I need to armour up, although I am from Grey's, and Grimsby was an absolute delight for me. So I don't think I'll be too phased by this area. With a ground of five, ten minute walk from here, I think this will do nicely. And I'm excited by this one today because I've got a new camera. Welcome to Edgemere. I'm guessing this is where my car got absolutely keyed. I only noticed it when we got back home, but they've really done a good number on it. If anyone knows someone that can fix this stuff, then uh, yeah, let me know. Back to Scumful, where I'm actually using this camera for the first time properly, and as you can see, yeah, it's not going well at the moment. Other than the cart eventually getting keyed, I thought at the time that this was alright. The grass is green, the people are nice. Come early in case I can't get in. What's that mean? I said, come early in case we can't get in. I'm sure it'll be fine, there's hardly anyone about. Look at it, there's hardly anyone about. He took the words right out of my mouth. Maybe I'll have a sit down here, it's too pretty early to go here. Yeah. Good, mate. Make sure you grab a pie, yeah? Yeah, the time recording this is National Pie Day. I'm sure we'll get something in there. As we continue our walk, we enter a retail park which consists of M&S. Listen, don't tell us to armour up if you're going to have an M&S on show. You've also got a boots in this gaff. Now, I can only assume that the finishing touches on this place is with reclaimed wood. It's beautiful. Fans ahead of the game can even stop off for a subway or drive through for a costa. <laughs> Telling me to armour up. Ridiculous. All right, maybe this place looks like a prison. And as I enter the complex, I've just bumped into Owen. Hello. Hello. Now, Owen is a proper Scumfort fan. He's got a company that sponsors. He's got a box. And that box comes with an allocated parking space, which he's giving up today for our guest. Our guest today is not this person, nor is it this person who refuses to wind down their window. Can't see. Can you wind down your window? No. These people aren't our guests. And neither is this guy who has wound down his window. Thanks for winding down your window. Just over there, the Banbury Massive had turned up, supported by this lot here. What do you call this, by the way, guys? Let us know in the comments below, because around our way, we call it a meat wagon. Still waiting for our guest for today. This guy's been kind enough to wind down his window. Owen's giving him the nod as well. Still don't know where our guest is, but this guy's turned up. Look, watch this. Oh, I've missed him. He's going to be joining us today. Big up Owen for the car park space, by the way. It's now time to enter this complex. Hey, I'm you Charlie. Yes, I'm season ticket I'll do. Go on, man. How are you? Can't take me anywhere. Hello, Kieran, by the way. As for the ticket, this one cost me 16 quid, but do I get some click, click, clickage for my 16 quid? There you go. Cheers. What a racket. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Unfortunately, Charlie's excitement was then taken away from him as we walk into Glenfield Park or the Attis Arena for sponsorship purposes. They get some pretty cool shots with this camera, right? The thing I love about this place is it has got a terrace and we'll be standing on these concrete steps very, very soon. First things first, food. They love a blue denim up here, didn't they? Welcome to the Iron Snacks where I've been recommended to get the burger even though it's National Pie Day. We'll get both. I haven't had to say it once this season, but here's Charlie off to the toilet. And as you know, it won't be the first time. Front of the queue now, I ordered a burger. Pie for Charlie. He wanted a steak. They don't have steak, so it's lamb and mint for him. Nice. Happy National Pie Day. It's the short crust. Burgers arrived too. That's Foil, that's gonna be sweaty. Love it. Don't forget the bottle of water. This one's all on me. £11.50. So, as we make our way up the steps to find a spot to stand, a spot to stand was found. Charlie tells me he's having trouble getting into that pie. Can't argue it's been well made for sure. How's it taste though? Well, we'll let you know at the end of the video. As I look out to the pitch and see the team's winner, I've just spotted a guy with a mullet and I absolutely love it. And so do they by the sounds of it. Applause for the mullet. Next up, it's time for the burger, which is still sweating inside that foil. And moments later, I was absolutely right. Charlie likened it to his, um, how do I put this? All right, look, he said he looked like he scrote him on a hot summer's day. Well, let's eat then. Let's eat it all. I like the pie. I'll let you know how it went down at the end of the video. I'd honestly love to expand this channel a little bit further into food. As you can see, I absolutely love food. So do let me know in the comments below if you want to see some food content, because I will unleash the barbecue, trust me. What's happening now? Well, it appears I'm going under the barrier and down the steps, where it's blue denim for days, and I'm back at the Iron Snacks tonight. <laughs> oh, hello, mate. How you been? Just trying to have a little look in to see who's making these burgers. Is it you? I've just grabbed another two of nine. That's ten pound. And so we're back here. Thoughts on buying three burgers and a pie in the space of ten minutes? <laughs> 
A standard ovation for the love of food, they know. As you can see, teams are on their way out, and it's Scunthorpe United and Claret and Blue, and Banbury United not. They're sweating out, and Charlie can't wait to get his hands on one. He's, he's just done it. As you can see, the line over there is just checking to see there's no holes in the net. Can someone let him know there's plenty? Unfortunately for Charlie, his burger not as scrotum like as mine. Maybe mine was an odd one, or maybe not. Two for two, baby. As you can see, Banbury United fans have already shown their true colours down there. Such a clever line, that. Underrated. I just realised this song is so on the road. The lyrics are perfect. You're everywhere and nowhere, baby. That's where you're at. Going down a bumpy hillside in your hippie hat, flying across the country and getting fat. Saying everything is groovy when your tyres are flat. And it's... <laughs> Definitely deleted some clips accidentally because Scunthorpe got a corner. We've kicked off at some point and on the stats they've already got a shot on target. Off the bonds saved by the keeper. Here's me still trying to work out this camera. So that's the most it zooms in. And you know I love zooming in, so we'll have to just do this in the edit. But with a digital scoreboard in the ground, it's a thumbs up from me. There was a few injuries today, I thought I'd make note of every single one. This is for anyone that wants sound bites from the football. <laughs> What I'm really focusing on here is the flag girth. It's chip at best. Expected more from Scunfort. Should be an iron bar or something. Meanwhile, next to me, Charlie's gone and got a hot chocolate, hasn't he? And because we find ourselves in non-league, this is classed as a non-league hot chocolate, which means that's going to stay warm for weeks. It's non-league hot chocolate from the depths of the earth. Injury number two happens. Trust me, my friend, you're going to be busy today. Great feature of this ground is trains. I won't be counting them, but maybe I will. Despite taking the lid off, there's still two weeks of heat in this for sure. Charlie's got other plans though. A few milks. That should take a couple of days off. Restricted views of the football. I do it best. But who wants perfect angles, eh? If you've been with us a while now, you would understand that I tried to bring you an authentic video as Scunthorpe looked to go one new up here. Get your laces on it. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Not a fan of this though. Substitutes on the pitch. He's gone beyond the boundary. Taking the piss. Look at this. No respect for the beautiful game whatsoever. Charlie's impressed by the way. He feels like he's at the football. Even when it's quiet, you've got, you've got the murmurings <laughs> around yeah. the ground. Let's be honest guys. This is why we're here. This is what we pay for. Oh, oh. my word. That one might have just flown past Marks and Spencer. Can we have new balls, please? Yep, thank you very much. Yulky. I haven't had one of them for ages. Probably because I identify as a female. A female lamppost. A female lamppost from Cheshire. From a neutral point of view, Banbury haven't really offered much. From a selfish point of view, that's good. Because remember, if the scumful, with all the pressure they put on, it's about time we get something, right? Right about now, some good plays, short, quick passes. And now they find themselves in the box. Yeah! yeah! Camera proper spazzed out there, but hey, it's one new to the scunny, and as it stands, we are heading back to the National League. Yeah, cap guns. Um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's all gone quiet over there. They should probably turn that into a song or something. Big fan of the scoreboard in the corner, tell everyone to shout iron. Iron, iron. A moment's late, we've got not one injury, but two injuries. That's what happens when you run into a steel beam. Don't worry though, Legs is here to attend to the scene. And attend he did, look at that. He's gone from wounded to walking wounded. I think give him another 10 minutes, he'd be dashing around boots as if it was supermarket sweet. Would you look at this, we've got a free kick. This has got butt feel red all over it. Roger though, Gary Neville. And we've still got a couple of minutes left in this first half, but I've heard great things about apple crumble at this ground. And the way this ground is designed, I'm not actually going to miss anything. So this is this is getting to the front of the queue, really. It's the opposite side to Iron Snacks. It's catering point five. And it's open. Some more blue denim round here. Some black skinny jeans as well. They're not welcome. I'm a little bit concerned, though. This isn't giving me apple crumble vibes. However, story checks out. They're doo-doo apple crumble here. Doo-doo. And it came out as well. That's five quid. Introducing Scumfork's apple pie with custard and toffee sauce on top. Wow. And did we miss anything? Absolutely not. Apple crumble to football is kind of alien to me. Never had it before. Oh! Oh! Quite like it in this corner. And it's got a non-league pile of crap. Because every non-league ground needs a pile of crap. As the groundsmen head out to maintain the pitch to keep the beautiful game looking beautiful, I realise the demand for apple crumble isn't really there. And so I take my apple crumble as Charlie wants a vape. Loves a vape, that boy. <coughs> <laughs> Everyone on the vapes and the cigarettes. Also, just bumped into on the road view of Connor. Hello. Hello. And so it's back into the ground where I need to be aware of flying footballs during players' warm up. Found a place at the back of the terrace this time, and just to let you know, seats are available just above the iron snacks. Let's get this second half on. <laughs> Now, actually remember to put a photo of the football to football up. It's over on my Instagram. You can follow me on there if you want. Oh, you never get swapped. We've got another injury. And then moments later, one over there and all. Is that the fifth injury or the sixth injury? Don't care. And then we're going again. I've captured a moment too. Rarer than that human sun card I got signed recently. There's only five of these in the world. Yeah? Yeah. And so much rarer than that DVD icon hitting the corner perfectly. Why, why do we keep printing this on white? Ah! 
Come on! It's two trains crossing at the football. Never seen it before? Well, now you have. No, really, this is why we're here. This is what we pay for. Following that recent injury, Legs is making his way back to the bench, knowing he'll probably have to come out again. But let me tell you now, I am absolutely disgusted with this shortcut. Yeah, Grant, he's done more kilometers than any player on that pitch today. But it's a total lack of respect for the game. I can't stress enough. It should be sent off, or at least substituted. Something I have noticed up north is there's a severe lack of dad shoes in the older clientele. One would assume that these guys are not 65 plus. But let me tell you, they are ticking that last bracket when signing up to a new website. Drop a like if you're happy Charlie's back this week. In fact, let's set a light target. We're going to go with 3,000 likes, please. Oh, Charlie, it's good to have you back for this week. Now, I was starting to wonder, the longer this stays 1-0, are we in danger of Barrenbury just coming up the other end and nicking a point? Of course, we're all thinking it, but the likelihood of that has increased considering Scunthorpe were down to 10 following a scuffle in the box. And moments later, I don't believe it. To be honest, he shouldn't even be on the field. Should have been off. We'll see what Legs did back there, didn't we? If I'm being honest, because in the second half, I feel like I've been watching Scunny for 60 odd years. Although one thing that has been a delight is number two. His man with mullet couldn't have picked a better number. Goes by the name of Regan Ogle, my man of the match for sure. I tell you what, my life would absolutely be made if he followed me back on Twitter, which of course is now known as X. And that got me thinking, I wonder how long we're going to call X Twitter now known as X. Because it really didn't take me too long to drop the opal fruits and Starburst. <laughs> How long left? Is that 87? Don't do it, Banbury. Don't do it, Banbury. Don't do it, Banbury. Yeah! As we hit the 90, despite down to 10, Scunthorpe going for it. Bang! And so, with the result pretty much confirmed, some are leaving early to beat the rush. And so, all that remains is for the man in the middle to blow the whistle. Oh, right. <laughs> Bosh, we're going up. It's been a good day, hasn't it? And that win confirms we are now in the National League. But most importantly, should we read this experience? I think we should. Let's. And so we're going to start things off with atmosphere. How was it at the Attis Arena? I was told it would be fantastic. It wasn't fantastic. It was good, but not fantastic. Not amongst it, but right next to it. But one thing I would say, there was a constant buzz. If you'd have come to that record attendance, it'd be five stars. But I didn't. I come to this one. Three and a half stars. Next up, we're talking facilities. I like this place. Like a little tissue box, wasn't it? No gaps in the corners, really. And I absolutely love for a ground this size, it's got a terrace. The stars remain the same from last time. It's three and a half stars. Next up, we're talking food and drink. Well, where do I start? A sweaty burger. It tasted so, so good. The filling on the lamb and mint pie, so, so good. But I recommend you get some apple crumble with custard and toffee sauce on it. Yes, you can. Revolutionary. And it all boils down to this for Scunthorpe United in this category. It's five stars. Finally, we're talking cost. How was it? Now, I'm sure some may argue, and I'm going to do a little video about ticket prices soon, but some may say this is too expensive, 16 quid at this level, and many will agree. But for me, having been up and down this ladder, not this season though, just part of the way, but I feel 16 quid for this level is about right, which is why it's another five stars for Scunthorpe United, and that puts them on a grand total of 17. Fantastic score, but it doesn't lead the way for this season, Corinthian Casuals still have that. Big up the scum fall. If you enjoyed this one, why not check out some of the other videos in the On The Road playlist? Get your binge on. I can everyone in the comments thank Jay for editing this video. Nice one, mate.